Ace Money the name, getting paid by the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BNE with handicappers. So it's the SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. Uh, having a problem with my computer right now. It's not uploading the file for the for the camera. So uh, normally I record screen and camera at the same time through the webcam on my laptop. So uh, bear with me. Let's see if this works. Just doing the screen. Uh, we got Connecticut at Minnesota. Game five is do or die. Uh, lines were plus three and a half over on the 149 and a half. And uh, Connecticut was on the dog at plus 138. Uh, they all bumped up a little bit. Plus four. Uh, best line. Plus four and a half. Bet Rivera. Rivera, you can get it. Uh, over on the 151 and a half. Connecticut still the underdog. Uh, 154. DraftKings got it. Right now, it's the best odds. Uh Game's gone over the last two games. They, uh, I believe, they picked up the pace, trying to get them buckets in transition. So before the defense gets set, both teams have been running a little bit. So usually, a pretty slow paced team. So you know, it's adjustments. It's what happens when you have series like this. Uh, not surprising that both these teams are where they at now. We made money off a lot of a lot of these. Uh, Player props on both these teams this year, so it's a good. They're in, they're in a good spot, uh, and we got five games out of it, so that's good. I do got some player props. To get into them. The program's giving me nothing but issues right now. Normally, I record the screen and camera together on my laptop and. It's uploading the, the, the screen image, but it's telling me the other file is is the wrong file, not in the right format. So then I finally got it to go with just the screen, and it did the first thing when I went to lines, and now it's telling me that this file is not right. Uh, shit is fucking driving me nuts. So I went with Kalia. This is the 18th time I'm trying to say this. Uh, I went with her points and rebounds. Over 30 and a half. It just bumped it up. Uh, this is why you got to subscribe and turn on the notifications. I dropped them in the community last night. And I said it on, when I was having problems with the computer. But um, so you could get a look at them. Uh, the line might come back down. It might not. They got a points line at 21 and a half. You can get it at 19 and a half for minus 155. It's not a bad play. Uh, they got her rebounds at nine and a half. She's been going over both of them. Reason why I picked points and rebounds together is because it was at 30 and a half. So at 21 and a half and nine and a half, it brings you to 31. You need to get the extra one in either order to go over. So just together, it seemed better. Uh, whether she gets a few more rebounds or a few more points. Uh, 31 and a half, I don't mind it either. Obviously, better at 30 and a half. Uh, let's do a die. I expect to have a real good game. Although Connecticut might throw everything in the kitchen sink at her to try to stop her and let the other players beat them. But uh, we'll see what happens. Kalia, yeah, let's get it. Just time's a charm. Bridget caught in points over nine and a half. Uh, eight and a half would be better, but uh, they didn't offer it. Uh, she had an off game, shot two for 11 from threes. I expected to go over this. Uh, like I said before, I feel like they're going to throw everything at, at uh, Kalia. She's going to kick it out, and uh, Bridget's not going to have another off day. She's 45 from threes for the year. She's almost got the highest percentage. Uh, 46 from the field, 82 from the foul line. She didn't go over this by much, but she's going to go over it. 
Uh, she needs to get to the foul line a few times, hit a couple threes, and easy money. Uh, I did sprinkle on her threes over over three and a half, uh, plus three fifty. Just got a feeling. I got a feeling. So uh, it's not a play I'm giving. I wouldn't really recommend it, but uh, definitely a points line. So Bridget Carlton, do me proud. So I went with Bonner, points over 14 and a half. Uh, these starters are going to run run a muck. They're uh, going to play a basically all game. She's been going over this too. I've been hit or miss with her all year. Sometimes she's, you know, she's good, just like anyone else in the, in the fucking league. They're good, and then all of a sudden they're not. One day they, sh they shoot perfect, then they fucking don't shoot perfect. Uh, I'm not expecting perfect, but you know what I mean. 14 and a half. She cleared this last uh, three in a row. She's four out of five. It's do or die. Uh, I mean, inside saying she didn't clear this five out of six on the road. But uh, we got no choice but to clear it. Uh, she's been hitting two threes basically a game. That could be a play over one and a half threes. Uh, just her her volume for threes went way down. So that's why I'm not, I didn't give it or play it. But um, because for the longest time she was hitting two in a row. Um, just do a die. She's got to go over this. You know, to even keep them in, in the game. So. I expect it to. Uh, it's going to be a good game. Let's get it. Tawana Bana, over 14 and a half. Alyssa Thomas, points over 13 and a half. Now, the other day, we fucking play her, and Bree Jones goes off, plays 30 something minutes. She hasn't been playing that, and. AT didn't, didn't reach her number. Uh, then we didn't play her, and we played Bree Jones. Bree Jones played like shit. She looked like she can barely get up and down the court. Uh, the transitions and, and the fast pace that they stepped it up to, so they're usually slow-paced teams. They killed her, and she just looked like shit. And we didn't hit the Bree Jones, and fucking Thomas went over. It's do or die. Uh... Who knows? Bree Jones could go off and Thomas won't go off, but I think they're all going to try to go off. And in 13 and a half, she's going to go over. I mean, this line is bumped up all year. It's been at like 10 and a half, 11 sometimes, but as you see, she's cleared this four out of five. Uh, she's not going to give up lightly. These, these players, her, Bonner, they're married. Isn't that crazy? All these fucking WNBA chicks are married and together and stuff. But hey, whatever. You want to go to work with your wife? That's fine by me. Uh, <laughs> she, uh, they don't have many, many years left. So, and it's hard to get to the finals and, and everything else. So, I expect you to give it their all. You're going to die in that court today and they're going to go over. All right, so let's get it. Uh, if you could like the video. New viewers, hit that subscribe button. Sorry for the, uh, the dilemma. Normally, you see me on the screen talking. Uh, likes and comments help get the videos out there. And let's get it. Ace money the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. All right, I forgot. I did a bonus. Uh, same game parlay. Plus 625, 11 picks. Remember, parlays are like lotto tickets. Um, I did AT, 10 plus points, Alyssa Thomas, Courtney Williams, 8 plus points, Bonner, 12 plus, McBride, 8 plus, Collier, 15 plus, Carrington, 10 plus, Bridget Carlton to hit two three pointers, Dewana Bonner, 5 rebounds, Collier, 8 rebounds, total over 142 and a half. And then Bonner to hit one plus three. Uh, I've been coming pretty close. 
I hit a couple the last couple of days, and then a couple of them I missed by one. That Mabry day where she shit the bed, uh, she killed me on a couple good ones. But uh, we'll see what happens. Remember, bed uh, smart parlays can be the difference between winning and losing. Um, profit or loss, but uh, let's get it. Ace money the name, getting paid for the game. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.